This is Twit. <laughs> so I've got the one that gives me the most headache, which is Android Auto. Oh, yay. Perfect. Yay. Um, and I, this is not because the developers out there. I mean, I guess it is a little bit because of Google. This strategy has been... It's getting better, it's getting more pointed. So what's happening is you can expect a revised interface to hit your Android Auto uh, in Dash infotainment system coming soon. What's really cool about this one is that it includes a split screen mode. So that's gonna be adaptable to different screen sizes. And nice. this is particularly important because in addition to the fragmentation we've already experienced as Android users of the phone, there's now fragmentation of screen sizes in cars, especially like manufacturers. There is no one set size yeah. as you see in this like yeah, animated this image. Um, my Subaru has like an 11 inch tablet situation going on with only half the screen that's devoted to Android Auto. And so that half of the screen is going to use the split screen mode so that you can get more information into, you know, whatever is allotted there for you by your car by the OEM, you know, your manu car manufacturer. So it's gonna be good for usability, supposedly. Again, I haven't used it. And I'm the end all be all <laughs> of user testing. So, yes, know. yes, Google relies uh, on only your <laughs> feedback. Only it's true, me. so. Only my feedback. Um, I did. I did ask, cause uh, I had a meeting with Google about this and I did ask about the phone app and oh, yeah. it being deprecated. And I didn't get a lot. I didn't get a lot, just yeah, that the assistant mode is going to get better. <laughs> okay. I'm still waiting. Uh, currently, I have no idea where I'm driving ever in my actual car. So, uh, do you have Android? But you have Android Auto as a. That's in the family car, Jason. That's not my car. Oh, oh okay. Not my car. It's the family car, Jason. Now I understand. <laughs> Um, you know, Jason, what it's like to have your own car with, you know, you have to have your own mood. Anyway, your own layout. <laughs> uh, more, more assistant integration coming to Android Auto, which is always good. Uh, we're talking about things like paying wirelessly for uh, parking and that's just going to become more commonplace in the next couple of years. The infrastructure for that is really small right now, but it's happening, um, especially in major metro areas. Also, another big thing was the there's more video streaming coming. So, Epics um, and Tubi, yeah, which are two, both free services streaming services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing to note about this distinction is that, if I recall correctly, this is coming to Android Automotive OS, which is the embedded software inside cars. Oh, That's okay. kind of a different product pipeline than what we're talking about with Android Auto. Um, I think they will probably make this available at some point to just regular Android Auto users. But my understanding is that this video streaming capability, what's happening here is all to kind of like set a base for the future cars that are going to have Android Auto motive pulsating through them. Just <laughs> powering think of them. another description yeah, yeah. <laughs> so look forward to this new ui this summer okay. i am looking forward to it um the biggest thing to know about it because of that split screen mode you're now going to have navigation and media controls on the same screen which is very important because it means you're going to tap at the screen a little bit less while you're behind the wheel just to be able to um get through the different options. So with yes. an Android auto interface, like if you have the maps up, the, normally there's no like music controls whatsoever showing there. You have to, oh, that sucks. It's in a so, separate, you have to tap into the app, which is yeah. like in this mm -hmm. little launcher dock area that they added. It's a lot better than the previous iterations, but it would just make more sense to have it all there the yeah. way that like the Subaru stock OS that I have in in the family car, uh, I mean, I, the way that, uh, that every, everybody uses these things, I'm sure a little bit differently, but I'd say the predominant majority of people are probably listening to something and, mm -hmm. you know, probably have, have use for the maps. I mean, not everybody uses maps to go everywhere, but those two things running concurrently seems like something that I imagine a large, Traffic, large percentage of people want controls. at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Those two things. Yeah. Pretty Traffic standard. And media controls. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah. 
I just want to add my biggest pet peeve right now, since I since I have the conch, is <laughs> that uh, the driving the assistant driving mode on the phone doesn't easily let you go and change media apps. So I can't like jump into a podcast. I can only control Spotify. I cannot go into Pocket Casts. The assist- okay. Don't use Spotify for podcasts. Stop getting me to use Spotify for podcasts. Is the assistant driving mode the thing that appears if I launch maps and navigate somewhere and then it's down in the bottom corner or is it down in the bottom like third yes. of the screen? Yeah. Or what you do is you go into your car like me, you wait for the Rove Bolt to turn on and then you go, okay, G, turn on driving mode. And then it officially brings up like the, the full screen. Otherwise full, you're just in the regular yeah. phone, mo- phone right. mode and a lot, uh-huh. everything's a lot smaller, which is harder for tapping. Uh, why? I, I will say, very, I will say very that, precise and thorough. I will say that recently, I, I uh, this past weekend, I drove up to Vermont to go to a wedding. So I was in the car for six hours and I was like, all right, well, I'm using Android Auto. Let's do it. And uh, the because, you know, I'm plugging in via USB cable or the I didn't I forgot to bring my a wireless, but it would have killed my battery. But um, because uh, I'm on a Subaru where the head unit allows you to choose Android Auto as an app. Uh, switching between the radio and the maps and Android Auto was just a nightmare. Oh, like having yeah. to like leave Android Auto to go to Sirius XM, change oh God, the station, so then go back to. Oh, yeah. my God. oh my God. Oh my God. I get so yeah. angry every time I. Yeah. This is why I don't drive. I don't like yeah. driving the Subaru, even though it has Android Auto in wow. it, because it's just like. Yeah. Cause it's, yeah. Cause it's, 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 it's a bolt on, you know, like it's not, yeah, it's not right. totally integrated, you know, when we switched yeah. over to listening to a pocket cast, it was fine because it was all, if you're contained in the Android auto mm-hmm. experience, then that's fine. But yeah. So when you have to go out it would, of it. It would be, it would be, just it'd be a lot, it would be a lot cooler if there's a way to bridge to control the, the, the car's radio system from Android auto. If there was an, a, a, a way to go out, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So. Like a, a common language that yeah I don't know, but going back to going back to the stuff that they announced at I/O, I was fascinated by that video of like the the display in the car that changes shape. That's pretty cool. I want that. <laughs> yeah, it just <laughs> magically turns. Yeah, from just magically to portrait. Like, yeah, yeah. Narrow, so me up for that coming car. to BMWs yeah. in twenty twenty seven. What display do you want? Because this display can be all of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just it's a, a rollable yeah. in every direction. Yeah, yeah. But it, but it really is like it really does speak though to this strategy they're doing with Android Auto is very similar to what they were doing with Android on phones. Mm-hmm. Uh, just yeah. with regards oh, totally. to like yeah. so many different screen sizes now. You know, some OEMs want to have it, like Subaru, it works on top of their OS. Others like Volvo, I think, has it fully integrated in the car. Like just when you turn the car on, it's yeah. made of Android. So this, this future is a little weird and I really... I'm, I'm concerned about it, but that's, I've said it before and many times again about yeah. why. So yeah. it keeps getting just a little bit better each time, just a little bit better. Mm-hmm.